you guys surprised a lot of people last season. I think the secret is out on Wayne this year. Are you guys uh, – how, how are you guys preparing and handling for that, knowing that people aren't going to let you sneak up on them this year? Uh, we're just working hard and, you know, just trying to build a teamwork together. We, you know, we lost our head coach, but we're not going to let that hold us back. We got a new coach, and he's pushing everybody the same as our old coach did. And we're just going to push together and hopefully make a good run. I know you guys are changing up the offense a little bit this year. What have your impressions been of that system, and what can we expect this year? I love it. Where you can just, I picture everybody going fast, and you'll see a lot of deep balls, and just we're gonna make a lot of plays. Between you and your brother, uh, Austin's back as well. I mean, that's three explosive players right there. What's the potential for the offense with the three of you guys out there? And that's not the only people that's out there, and it's, it's crazy. We we have a lot of a lot of bullets that can go off at any moment. So I mean. I can see us going pretty far. I, I can see State. Uh, defensively, what's going to kind of be the, the, the MO of this group? No fly zone. We have great. We have a great defensive line. We, we won't even need four people, but if we go four people on the line, we, our, de our defensive backs are all well completely together because we've played for four years together. We got a lot of people that's coming back, and our defensive line consists of Eddie Elder, a big guy, and then Jock another guy like Jari Dada, and then Austin Robertson, and Austin Yarbrough, too. So we, we're we very versatile on defense, and so I could see it just coming all together, and I don't think anybody can pass us. You mentioned Austin Robertson. He's getting a lot of attention this summer. Uh, hasn't actually played a game at uh, on the defensive line yet, but how quickly is he picking up that position? Very, very quickly. He's, he's not come to a lot of practices because of his camps, but when he comes to practice, you can see it just developing, and because he's so big, it's, it's just all coming together. Um, what's been the progression since then as far as putting in your systems with this group? Well, we're getting kids in the right spot, hopefully. Uh, you know, we're asking some of these kids that have started since uh, their freshman year at certain positions to, to play other positions to make us a better team so we can get as many athletes on the field as we can. And, uh, you know, they bought into that, which is good. And, uh, you know, they seem to be having fun, seem to be enjoying themselves, seem to be learning. And uh, the learning curve is, you know, whenever you put a new system in, it's kind of slow, but it, it's speeding up now. Uh, Keon said he's going to be a quarterback this year. That's obviously new for him. Um, how is he taking to that position? He uh, is doing a great job. Uh, you know, he adds uh, what I really like in a quarterback, and that's a little bit of mobility. Uh, well, in his case, it's a lot of mobility. Uh, but uh, uh, his arm is a lot better than I gave it credit for early, and uh, uh, he's a very smart kid. And, uh, you know, those factors together make him, uh, you know, the type of quarterback that we can win with. You've got Keon, you've got his brother, you've got Yarbrough. It's fun to have that many speedy pieces, isn't it? Yeah, and uh, we've got we've got some speed on the outside and uh, as well. And defensively, our, our defensive backfield is all pretty – you know, it's pretty solid at this point. Uh, where we're trying to fill holes is on the, on both lines, and we're, we're trying to find kids that play there. But, uh, you know, that, that everybody's in that boat, you know, trying to find linemen that can uh, uh, play well and, and stuff. So we, we don't want to have any of those kids go both ways. The other kids are in shape, I think, if they have to. But uh, uh, our linemen, we'd like to keep, you know, single-way players. When I asked Keon what the identity of the defense was going to be, he smiled and said, no fly zone. Yeah. Uh, is that a good description? Well, from a defensive back, yeah. Uh, he, uh, yeah, it, you know, they, they play pretty well. Hopefully, uh, you know, that uh, they can continue that as the year goes on and improve on that. But uh, uh, that's a good attitude to have. You know, it, it kind of uh, breeds confidence, gives them a goal, gives, uh, you know, some things that uh, they can uh, look at and take with pride. And, uh, you know, it's just, uh, that's good. You know, I, if it were me describing that, I would say uh, we want 11 hats on the ball all the time. And uh, then a no-fly zone. So It's going to be your first time through the SAC. How do you prepare for that from a coaching standpoint? Well, you know, it, uh, uh, I think there are some other new uh, coaches in the, in the SAC as well. So, you know, we'll just do it like we always do. We'll wait till the week we play somebody and then get ready and see what they do. And we'll draw up a game plan and play against it. Uh, you know, that, that's the nice thing about football is that, uh, you know, some programs, uh, you know, you can look back 20 years and see the same thing. 
other programs, uh, you know, are, are brand new this year, and just like ours will be, you know, from week to week, you know, tendencies. In, in my book, you can throw out the window because you do whatever it takes to win that week. You're not thinking ahead to next week, you know, what you're showing somebody. So uh, and if you are, you've got really good kids. Uh, but, uh, you know, we want uh, – we're just taking it, you know, week by week. You know, and I, I know that sounds cliche, but that's what you got to do.